<clears throat> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the One Drop Shower Ministry of Preparedness. My name is Mike Albert. I will be your host with the most information and Bible scriptures coming to you this 17th of August, 2017, 11 a.m. Eastern Time here in Long Island, New York, USA. So we're going to continue our discussion about water in the Bible and how it affects our lives and how it affected the um, lives of the uh, people that it was meant to affect at that time. Um, there's a German word for that. What is it? Uh, Lip Lipsenzaven or something? It means the uh, at that time period, the audience uh, that it was meant to address, reflecting upon, you know, the environment those people, whether it be they uh, in a certain location or belief system, um, and how it was addressed by the person giving uh, that information out to. Grab some tea. Hold on a second. Not bad, not bad. Some green tea, decaf, and echinacea. Good stuff. All right, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to get into some current events on the, uh, the Hisro map, I call it. And I'll give you, we'll leave that up on the screen. And then we'll do some YouTube, time permitting. Subscribe, uh, all the channels that I'm subscribed to. I go through that because they're pretty uh, well vetted for information or things that I find interesting or even sometimes funny. We can laugh, even though uh, times are rough, we can laugh. Looks like uh, Hurricane Gert is heading out to sea, praise God. And, um,. These other guys uh, don't seem to be getting uh, formed yet, uh, as far as a name. I guess they're uh, building up power out here in the uh, South Atlantic. Um, I don't know, it's actually between North and South, through the, by the equator, coming off the West Coast of Africa, heading uh, towards the Caribbean right now. All right, so uh, we'll do that, and then YouTube will uh, take this down so we can save some bandwidth and bring up YouTube channel. But we'll leave the map up. All right, let's see what you guys are seeing. You're seeing me way too big. Okay. All right, so uh, let's say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this ministry of preparedness, this one-drop shower, to reach souls, Lord, into your kingdom, even in times of persecution and oppression, and um, for the worst parts of the Bible, Lord. Uh, please help us to uh, get this 100-year plan into people's minds and hearts, uh, to get in the wilderness, to be as strong as possible mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and um, psychologically, uh, so they may preach the gospel and win souls to your kingdoms, Lord, in the um, in the heavenly uh, ether there, Lord, the firmament that you call it between uh, earth and heaven, and um, be prepared for your second coming of Jesus, and to be in the new Jerusalem with uh, you, Lord, here on earth, which would be a blessing. Uh, please bless all our viewers, Lord, in their needs, um, especially spiritually, Lord. Help them to get into their kingdom. Help them to live a godly life. Please uh, forgive them. Uh, please uh, I forgive me of my sins, Lord, and and uh, lead them to, with the Holy Spirit to uh, have them repent of their sins as well, Lord, because we know that you hear and see prayers more fervently when they are prayed, uh, not only in fasting but in humbleness, with uh, seeking forgiveness of their sins as well. We ask a double blessing, Lord, for all our viewers, Lord, and their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Please bless their families and extended families, Lord. Please bless their homes, their foods, their cars with traveling mercies. Please bless their finances, their prosperities, Lord, um, all their financial issues. Help them, to, help them to pay their bills and keep food on their table, Lord. We ask you to please um, bless them in all their needs, uh, especially those that are, uh, that are suffering um, emotional distress, Lord, or painful distress, uh, physical pain. Please ask that you remove this and comfort them and uh, help them to focus on you, Lord, and to glorify and honor you, Lord. Please bless our nation, Lord. Uh, such turmoil times here. We ask uh, that you please um, um, oppress all these plagues, Lord, going around, Lord. Help them to fall by our side. And um, the, the weathers of nature that are uh, brewing about, Lord, uh, the crazy rains and droughts and fires, Lord, and uh, potential um, tsunamis and floods, Lord, and landslides, all these things, Lord. You know, the, the other viruses we have of uh, now anthrax is around, you got the bubonic plague around, um, <clears throat> bird flu around, influenza, 
We know, Lord, you could take us out at any time, Lord, um, but your word is not fulfilled yet, Lord. So we ask that you please uh, help protect us until that time. Uh, keep us safe here on this land. Help us to build our walls, Lord, to keep us from having invaders come in here to do us harm or to bring drugs in here, to uh, do illegal, harmful activities, uh, rape, murder, and all these bad things they do. And, Lord, please um, help us to address those that are suffering, Lord, and need help as well, um, and that they that a just, uh, kind heart uh, be fallen upon those that they come across that, that can provide this help as well. Please bless our military, Lord, and bring our boys and girls home. We don't need them overseas patrolling the world. Uh, help us to just patrol our own land and borders and lands and uh, waters. Please bless our, uh, our, our officials, Lord, that are in government positions that, that have, you know, the power to uh, change laws, enforce laws, um, but to do it uh, without corruption, Lord, and money laundering and scheming and <clears throat> all the scandals that go on, Lord, behind secret closed doors and... Uh, backroom deals and secret meetings, Lord, please shed light into this darkness. Help us to arrest those, Lord, that uh, will not comply to uh, um, following the laws, Lord. Uh, please bless especially our president and vice president, Donald Trump, and Mike Pence, his family and extended families. Keep Satan from whispering in their ears, Lord. And uh, please rebuke those who have a, a, an agenda, dear Lord, uh, to bring them down, uh, to shame them um, where there is no shame needed. Um, <clears throat> uh, help us to uh, dis dismantle CNN, Lord. Help uh, AT&T to, uh, to purchase that and to just break it apart and strengthen our FCC guidelines, guidelines, Lord, to what true natural broadcasting and journalism is, Lord, and what it is not, and to revoke licenses of those that do not uh, comply. Uh, please bless our first responders, Lord, going towards danger when others are running away from it, such as uh, police, firefighters, and ambulances, and doctors, Lord, and EMSs. Um, please keep them safe from harm, Lord, uh, especially those that are setting up sabotages, uh, traps to, uh, uh, to spring upon those that are going towards the danger or the false hoax dangers, Lord. Um, also, Lord, please expose all those hoaxes and those the by design uh, events such as, you know, this fake terrorism by the CIA and all these uh, fake protesters. Lord, help us to continue to expose them and to uh, hold people accountable, Lord, uh, and to put an end to this. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. And one more thing, Lord, please help us to bring our Ten Commandments, your Ten Commandments, Lord, back into our um, court systems in, uh, in prisons and in also psychiatric wards, and in police stations, and in every single school, regardless of their religion, because we are a Christian nation, Lord. Getting stronger, and a stronger Christian nation we are, Lord. Always have been, always will be, and we praise you, and we love you, glorify and honor you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I didn't think about that. Prisons, what a great place to have the Ten Commandments, you know? You're in the, whatever it is, the eating area, and uh, there's the Ten Commandments on the wall, you know? No better rehab than that. Are we still recording? Is anybody listening? Can anybody hear me? Check one, two. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's shrink me down. Oh, no. Help me. And bring in our big, 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 big map. Shuffle me about. And uh, we'll leave that up in the bottom left-hand corner. If a red sign pops up and I notice it, I will read it. Uh, otherwise, unless you guys can read it, because the screen is small, I know. Don't know how to make it any bigger. Can I make it full screen? Can I do that? <clears throat> Let's see. Is there a uh, choice of that? View. Full screen interface. Hmm. What about disconnect? How do I exit that? No, oh, there we go. A little bit bigger. Amen. Still can't make it bigger, but I want to leave me up there until I actually get into that. Water in the Bible. We've been going through this a few episodes. I don't know what we're up to. I didn't number then. I'll have to go back and number them. I think this is three or four. We got interrupted with one of them from Isaiah, which was a very powerful uh, passage. Um, that was Isaiah 24. Extremely powerful. If you guys missed that, go back and check that out. Titled, Impending Judgment Upon the Earth. Ooh-wee. You better fear God. Okay, uh, we left off doing Jeremiah 8.14. Let's get into, uh, let's see what Laminations 1.16 says. 
Um, well, first, I'll be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. This is the Andrews Study Guide, and I choose it because it has the commentaries below the scripture and the cross references in between, giving you further study to prove that over thousands of years that the Bible is 100% true. No disputing that. Every overflows with water. I'm, I'm sorry. I overflows with water. I use the tears. Um, Ezekiel, let's see, will be as weak as water. Water the land with the. Water came up to my ankles. This is all um, Ezekiel. It's just part of the sentence. I'm reading from the uh, index in the back of the book uh, to help you give a little bit of a uh, refresher or look into the sentence. Amos. <clears throat> um, nobody reads Amos. Justice ran down like water. That sounds good. Let's see what's happening in, with the justice. 524 in Amos. That's something you'll pass right by. I'm going to get the exact page on this. I know it gets right by Acts there, is it? Uh, no, <clears throat> it's not. Way off. Boy. Got to get those tabs. Helps you to remember where these books are. Amos 1159. 1159, we got Micah, Hosea, Jonah, Amos. These little books are powerful. Got to get into those. Um, I lost my marker. It's okay. So, in Amos, we'll be doing 524. 3, 4, 524. And this is titled, The Day of the Lord. Similar to Isaiah that we just read in 24, Isaiah 24. The Day of the Lord. Um, I'll read the first one, 16, and then go to 24, but let's see what the commentaries we have. One, we have 21 through 24, so we'll do that. But the, the first sentence, or the first line, of verse 16 says, Therefore the Lord God of hosts, the Lord, says this, I hate, I despise your feast days. And I do not savor your sacred assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your grain offerings, I will not accept them, nor will I regard your fattened peace offerings. Ooh, Lord. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your stringed instruments. But let justice run down your run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Amen. <clears throat> I, I can only uh, um, take from this that he is talking about, God is talking to Amos about um, scoffers, mockers, um, idolaters, uh, those who practice iniquities. Uh, and then they come to the Lord in that van vanity, you know, or with legalism, trying to justify their deserving of his mercy and grace and forgiveness. And um, God, you know, explicitly is very clear about that, to um, not do this, and it will come down just as well as water comes down from uh, any other avenue. Excuse me a second, I'm having a... Oh yeah rid of this full screen here because I can't get into my pages here. Subscriptions. Okay. All right, let's see what the commentary has to say here. But that's that harsh words. I hate, I despise, not accepting, fattened peace offerings. <laughs> Take away this noise, these instruments. 
But let justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. In other words, you're not going to fool God. You can't, you know, try to pull one over on him. Not happening. Commentary says, 21 through 24, feast days, festivals, sacred assemblies, worship rituals, and offerings without justice and righteousness are an abominable to God. It is not frequent in Scripture that God is so explicit about what he hates. Justice and righteousness are core values of the whole structure of biblical faith. Without them, religion turns into meaningless formalism and hypocrisy. The centrality of these two core values is not only the Old Testament, but also the whole of Scripture is akin to centrality of love in the New Testament. They are all divine attributes of shares with his loyal covenant partners. It almost seems as if uh, this should be written in the New Testament. Um, but it's not. Amos is in the Old Testament with uh, right a few books ahead of it before Jesus comes onto the scene um, <clears throat> and ascends in Acts. So, why is God so adamantly... I guess it was necessary. People are doing this legalism type of um, offering and it's not justified with righteousness. The humble, people don't have it in their hearts. In other words, God's reading your heart. You're going to try to fool him and think, oh, you know, <clears throat> God doesn't really care about this little thing or that little thing. I'll just do this and it'll please him. No, it's not going to please him if you are having, you know, wickedness, you know, committing adultery, committing uh, the stealing, murdering, um, you know, oppressing people, um, scoffing, mockers, and then you come, to, it's like a lot of churches, too, Christ describes the, the seven last churches, um, you know, lukewarm, and um, those that act like they are righteous before other people, but yet they're not. Most of us Christians that are true God-fearing, um, upstanding Christians that are righteous, as righteous as we can be, can see right through this as well. Um, I have a friend or two that, that does it as well, too, and I call him out on it. Say, listen, brother, sister, you're not fooling anybody. You know, don't do this, this, that, and, uh, you know, we're allowed to judge each each fellow saved brother in, in Christ and sister in Christ uh, if they're showing, if they are falling short of the glory. Um... <clears throat> But we all show, we all fall short, but it is our duty to lift each other up and be stewards of each other as well as ourselves and the scripture to win souls to Christ. Um, otherwise, like, like he's saying here, justice and righteousness, like water, comes over you. And you don't stop water, and water gets into everywhere. And water wears you out as well, too. So God is saying here, like water is justice, uh, as I am, I will judge you, and I will wear you out. I will wear you down, and you will not prevail your wicked ways. Water is also for baptism. It covers you as well. You are, are you not protected in a body of water for the first nine months of your life? Think about that. Water cleanses, baptizes, protects, judges well, one of God's tools. <clears throat> Not that he needs it, but it's a metaphor that helps us to understand his awesomeness. Okay, moving on. Um, water. That was, I really should get a pen. Where's my pen? I don't have a pen. All right, one more. Matthew fourteen twenty nine. Walked on the water. Amen. It's a little much to say about that. Fourteen twenty nine. Matthew. John, Luke, Mark, Matthew fourteen. Definitely my favorite book, Matthew. And the title of this is Jesus walks on the sea. 
And for the commentaries, we have nothing. That's scary. 1429. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to Jesus. You gotta, you gotta read more than this. But when he saw that the wind was blusterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out. Sorry, I gotta mute that. He cried out, saying, "Lord, save me!" And Jesus saved him. Um, so this was trust. Um, Peter first seeing as a lot of the Old Testament is so this is the New Testament um, is how <clears throat> when you're introducing something that's new as humans um, if you're not a fall for anything type of person or buy on impulse type of person or emotional you know, um, decision making, you need to see, to use one of your strongest senses of uh, evaluating truth behind what you are to interpret as belief. Do you believe this? Do you acknowledge this? Do you comprehend this? Do you accept this as truth? And all throughout the Old Testament, that's what was being done because this was something new to people. It had to be shown, had to be proved, had to be techniques, had to be used, such as, you know, the earthly sanctuary. You know, to make this physical, visible offering, sacrifice for your sins. Okay, that grows on people. Now, all of a sudden, you know, take another step and have faith. So, there are steps being taken here using water as an example that we can do as Jesus has done. And it has been um, exemplifying the Bible that we will have those with enough faith and the perfect faith or um, strong enough faith, the same things that Christ did. We can heal. We can um, raise the dead. We can do all these things if we have enough faith. But only Christ so far had that faith, as far as I know, that strong. Um, and even greater things. So Peter did have that faith, but he had to see it first. He saw it, and then he believed. But then he started to doubt. And the water became that which he knew it to be, um, unable to support him. But then Christ reached out and showed him, I will support you. Have faith in me. Don't worry about yourself so much. Don't worry about the water or the world around you. Have faith in me. And he was able to walk on water again. Um, so water here, obviously imagery, symbolic thereof. Our understanding, our faith or lack there of faith. Um, and how far it can get you, and, or how um, not far it can get you, you know, how little you could travel through anything, through any problems, through any obstacles. This was an obstacle. He was safely in a boat. Um, and he had to go come out on faith into a different substance, a water, you know, I look forward to that day when I can walk on water. But in the New Jerusalem, if I can before then, from um, my understanding of Scripture, there is not going to be any water in the world. We're not going to need it to live. Imagine that. And live forever and have perfect health and happiness and no more sorrows or tears wiped away. Praise God. Very good times to look forward to. All right, uh, let's let's do one more. 
Okay, we did Amos, Matthew, Luke. Love Luke. 744. I mean, yeah, 7, chapter 7, verse 44. You gave me no water. I know what that is. Luke 744. Oh, almost open right up to the page. The title of this is A Sinful Woman Forgiven. Um, and the commentaries, we have 44 through 46. Okay, so let's do that. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she was washed, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. Oh, praise God. <clears throat> So, um, commentary. Traditional means of showing hospitality. Water, kiss, oil. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't finish reading. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Um... Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Amen. So, um, a strong passage here of traditions, of formality, of hospitality, of showing respect um, to authority of Christ, to his ways, and the consequences of not. And water was one of these ways by which he exemplified that are acceptable. Baptism is acceptable with water. Washing my feet is acceptable with water. If not, well, someone went above and beyond that, and I'm surprised he didn't say he marveled here. I'm surprised. He did that with the centurion who wanted to save his servant, and Jesus said he marveled. He didn't marvel here, um, but he was, and he says in verse 48, uh, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> I'll take that, uh, for all the tears I could give you, Jesus. Um, kissed his feet, anointed his feet with oil, his, ha his head. Um, praise God. Um, we should all be so fortunate to be able to do this. And we do this actually with, um, with foot washing, uh, services, um, quite often in the church throughout the year to, um, go through the steps that Christ went through, uh, given to him and he performed himself as well, uh, to humble ourselves and to, uh, put ourselves in alignment with his character as so often we need to do, to be reminded of how righteous and great and sinless Christ was uh, to the poorest of the poorest. He didn't do this to kings. He didn't wash the feet of kings, no. No. He washed the feet of the poorest of the poorest of people. The sick, the lame, the leopards. Touched them, healed them, loved them. Because they need it the most. They deserve it the most. Because they're not washed by the world's water. But by the spiritual waters of humbleness and righteousness. Very interesting. Okay, let's get into some current events. Hopefully I'll remember where we left off uh, for next time. In water. But let's have a quick prayer for these folks. Dear Heavenly Father, please be with each and every person affected by these current events here, Lord, that are having their lives, Lord, uh, destroyed, taken, disrupted, um, um, turned upside down, Lord. Please help them to rebuild, comfort them, Lord, in knowing that um, you are a good God and just God, and allow this to um, unfold for a greater code of purpose to win souls to heaven, Lord. Please bless especially those and comfort those that are elderly and children, Lord, that are going through these hard times, um, and especially the parents, Lord, that have lost children. 
um, you know, the, that are grieving so hardly, Lord, please comfort them in some way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, help them to rebuild. Amen. <clears throat> I do these lessons here not so much to point the world into the Bible, but to somehow get a glimpse of, I mean a glimpse, a tiny small glimpse of what's to come that is in the Bible into the world. And the Bible speaks about many, many, many horrific, horrific things just only God could bring about. And then he just says this, that this is just the beginning. Wait, wait till I see what I got in store next. <laughs> You're really going to be shaking in your pants. Um, so this is a fraction of the beginning. And we're getting a taste of this, but I use this as lessons to teach us and to motivate you to get into the wilderness, to get into the woods, to get away from society. If you can now, or at least have the mindset and training and understanding that this is where it's going to be necessary and the catalyst to push you to do it. Sometimes you're not going to get a warning. It's going to be in your sleep, um, like a lot of these people, like in just in Lyon right now, this happened, in landslide in China. Um, how many hundreds of people dead in their sleep from a landslide? Uh, how many missing? You know, a hundred or so missing. And... Um, if you're given the heads up, like I am trying to do now with you, and a and a hundred year plan to live off grid, uh, I would suggest that to be a wise path to consider. Two point four just happened in Hawaii, so heed these warnings from the Bible that these might be a part of as a catalyst for something greater unfolding, as a sign of Christ coming especially when I see in these northern states, in these northern parts of the world here, a fire in Greenland. Um, a couple weeks ago, there was an incident in Iceland with, I think it was some type of a food poisoning. Like 67 kids were poisoned. Um, there's something else, biological or hazardous in um, northern Alaska. These are cold areas. When you start seeing things like that, <clears throat> something, something's really off. That's not normal, man. Not normal. Uh, these red biological signs, look at all these poisonous signs coming up here. Look at all these biological signs spreading, spreading. These weren't here last week. One, two, three, four. Um, where's the birds? There's a bird. There's a bird. That's the bird influenza. Um, Arizona, probably one of these red ones is, is the bubonic plague from the uh, prairie dogs. Anthrax just was just found in some cows, I think, in Texas. I think that green thing is. I don't know what that is. Oh, vehicle accident. Um, so something happened on a boat or a plane or a car or something. Train. Uh, like Hawaii. And this was happening over here. Uh, extreme weather in uh, Australia. Big quakes. I don't know what that green thing is. Biological hazard. All right, so let's scroll down and see what we got. One day ago, landslide in Sierra Leone. I just told you about that level. We have an update. Let's see what the update is. Come on. A week of national mourning commenced on Wednesday in Sierra Leone as rescue workers ramped up their search for victims to the mudslide that ravaged a town outside of Freetown on Monday morning. A corner, Senin and Dumboya told Reuters that at least 400 bodies have been recovered. Oh dear Lord. While Red Cross estimates that over 600 are still missing, among the dead are 109 children according to the national nation's children fund on tuesday 150 bodies were buried as the search continues we have collected nearly 400 bodies but we anticipate more than 500 the coroner said red cross program coordinators uh, said some 9,000 people have been affected by the disaster the tragedy began early hours of Monday 
mountainous town of Regent when heavy rains caused a hillside to collapse, burying at least 100 homes. Um, state of emergency was declared and urged survivors to evacuate the area. Meanwhile, the United Nations is assessing the possibility of another mudslide. <clears throat> You know, I find it curious how they keep pushing down our throats, these agencies, Red Cross, UNICEF, UN, you know, when the cameras are rolling, you know, and the eyes of the world are upon it, out pops the saviors. Where are they to prevent this in the first place? What do you do to prevent Red Cross? Besides, tell people to uh, get a few days' worth of supplies. What do you do, UNICEF, to prevent such things? To have a plan. What do you do? UN. We need you to tell us if this is going to happen more? No. I don't think so. So they're constantly shoving these uh, named agencies at our, at our site in front of these things. You know, I opened up a... Uh, a foundation to protect the travels of school children from registered sex offenders. And I always um, brought to the attention of the media that it's too late in the aftermath. And it's disgusting and shameful how politicians use the death of a child to pass a law. It's too late. I've had solutions to prevent this to curtail it, and um, <clears throat> they didn't want to hear it because the cameras weren't rolling. So if you really, truly have a passion and a heart for things like this, you do something to advise people on how to avoid it. <clears throat> Don't let them do such deforestation where there's a certain angle of a hillside, and there's residencies below that. <clears throat> you know, anything 45 degrees or, or higher of an angle, and you want to take down trees? I don't think so. 20 degrees, I wouldn't do. Saturation. Landslide. Common sense. <clears throat> I'm sure they were deforesting there. I'm sure somehow the... The roots that hold the soils together and the rocks together were deforested. I wonder how we can... Let it, uh, I can I go on Google Earth, but you guys aren't going to be able to see it. Sierra Leone. i take a quick look on there. If it's not too big, I could get some sort of a... I uh, uh, hit the wrong thing. I didn't want to hit eSword. That's a big program. It's going to take a minute to load... Get rid of. Let me get the map back meanwhile. You guys can see that at least. Giggle Earth. Giggle, giggle, giggle Earth. The fake round Earth. Cross the Atlantic. Africa. Sierra Leone. I thought it was in China. I don't know why I thought it was not. Not too good with geographics. So let's zoom, zoom in. The map will work. It's having a mind of its own. Uh, let's see if it gives me borders. It's checked off, but I got elevations here of 600 feet right in the center there. 580, going around, higher sixes, higher the lows, fives, high fives, fours, eights, um, fives, fours, six, seven, over there. So we've got a pretty good fluctuation of elevations in a very small area. It means very mountainous. And I do see some deforestation going on. Ah, I know what I could do. I could go on the map here. From that incident, hopefully it'll zoom right into it. Let's do that. Should have done that in the first place. 
map. No. Well, there's Sierra Leone. Did I say it's west of Sierra Leone? No. I did see that word Freetown. Sorry for the colors. It's uh, what they do in an area that's affected. So, if I um, I guess Sierra Leone covers this whole area here. Go west of that, which is a far, far, far away from Sierra Leone. It's a free town. No, I can't be right. Let me read that again. This uh, go to the description. Landslide in Sierra Leone with like coordinates. Does it give longitude latitude here? Geographic location. Um, landslide coordinate. Uh, 8.47 minus 13.23. See if that helps. Um, okay, yeah, 8.47 or 7.13. All right, well, maybe it is over there in Freetown. Um, 13, yeah. 8.47. 8.47 is up here. 1323. That can't be right. That's way out there. My numbers. 847, 1323. That's off. That said minus 13. That can't be true. Okay, let's read that again then. That brings me out in the middle of the ocean. Uh, description, capital, statement, settlement, dead person, local event, the affected area up to a few kilometers, landslide, geographic information, okay, it's all the same, so those are incorrect uh, longitude latitude coordinates, whoever did that. Uh, affected persons, 9,000. Missing person, 500. Dead people, 400. And there's biohazard information here. Like I've been saying with other events that unearth, that disturb dormant things, will have uh, other side effects as well. Not only from those properties being... <laughs> disrupted. <laughs> Romeo, hey! Okay, it's okay, Romeo. But also, carcasses, dead things, it, it all, God made such a great symbiotic system that, you know, things eat other things. Things, uh, you know, allow other things to grow. It's such a good balance, and when that's disrupted, uh, especially on a massive scale, you have unknown variable catalysts that can be just as devastating if not more and spread even greater sorry this is taking so long folks but I just want to uh, I'm learning as you're learning as well too here and I would like to pinpoint this area and try to see if truly indeed they did some deforestation as you can go on on Google Earth you can do a timeline search back to like the 1990s. <clears throat> um, outskirts of Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown. Okay, so it is Freetown, but that's an island. I'll show you on the map here. <clears throat> Just doesn't make sense. All right, there's Freetown. There's Sierra Leone. Oh, that's a big distance away. I'm going to go on Google Earth here a second. And get them mileage determination Oof. Oh, not that bad I mean I'm only gonna, I gotta zoom out there's Sierra Leone it's 
So Sierra Leone to Freetown is 100 miles. I mean, couldn't they just say Freetown? I guess Sierra Leone might be the capital. So I'm zooming in on uh, Google Earth here. Oh, my God. Yeah, massive deforestation. Are you kidding me? The whole entire area is green except Freetown. It's like they've just taken away every... I've never even seen this map before. And this is one of the first things I said is that when you have mountainous areas, when you have areas with angles of, you know, 20 degrees or greater, and you have trees being taken down, rain comes in, and here comes the mudslide. And wouldn't you know it, just where it's higher, where it's even harder to get the deforestation out, I'm talking about 1,000 feet, it's 1,100 feet in elevation, the mountains. The, the trees are, some trees are there, southeast of uh, Freetown. But everything else around it, let me zoom in further. Or maybe it's developed. If it's not developed, it's it's deforested. I'm sorry, no, it's deforested. But is that that's the same thing. People encroached in on nature, built around hilly areas. Um, let me see, 100 feet, I see 200, 400 feet. 900 above the higher elevation feet they didn't uh, develop. But this is a small island. Uh, I'd, I'd compare it to the size of where I live in Long Island. <clears throat> 500 feet, 700, 800 feet. So it is more mountainous than Long Island. Our highest peak, 900 feet. Our highest peak in Long Island is, uh, I think, 400 feet. So they're twice as mountainous than we are. And it had to have happened. It said the outskirts of Freetown. So I guarantee you this happened um, around. Oh, yeah, look at this. They're packed. And right around the mountains, they are packed in. I can't believe these are. Are these houses? What is this? Yeah, these are huts. Just jam packed as high as they could get into the mountain. And they keep building higher and higher and higher towards the mountain, taking away the trees. And they're just, they're literally on top of each other. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, the Manhattan and Queens and Brooklyn and the Bronx. So these houses are just right on top of each other. These, a, lot of these, a lot of these things look like dirt huts. They're probably built very poorly. Not that anything could really stop a landslide, mudslide happening. I guarantee you that's exactly where it happened. Dirt roads. So there's definitely no retaining walls, restructuring. Um, I'm surprised there's even streets here or cars. It's a very, very poor, poor area. I can tell you that right now. Um, and I'm sure Google Earth doesn't have their cars driving around mapping this out. If I uh, drag the, uh, you know, there's a, like a little man icon you could drag onto the map. And the maps light up blue. That means they drove around the streets and filmed it and you could simulate that action. Densely, heavy, heavily. I could show you the population density and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. But this is good little this is this is good recon and this is good exercise I'm telling you about what we're doing here for where to choose a land to build and not to build when you bug it out. So what just happened? Epidemic hazard just happened in Panama. Alright, so all this without this yellow tint here, all this is green here. All this is green as far as you can see a little bit of different coloration there. You see when I zoom out, if you, I'm able to see it, it that yellow goes away for a second there. The whole island is pretty much green, except around Freetown, where they built and developed. Now, oh, this is a topo map. This is good. Topo means it shows you the elevations. So this topo map here, you see these lines? As they, no, they don't really show it too much, but some of them, in between these thicker lines, is lines more densely. That means it's elevation um, higher and higher and higher. But uh, these are all streets surrounding this area. Used to be trees. And I'll go back on Google Earth to prove that. Um, but this is the highest peak, say, here, 1,100 feet. Quickly, rapidly descending down to 300 feet. But in between 300 and 1,100 feet, um, they have built massive, massive, they deforested everything and built stacked like sardines house on top of house next to each other next to each other next to 
dirt road surrounding this whole thing, no retaining walls, and it rained, 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 there it goes, because of the angle. So to go from 1,100 feet to, I'm not, I'm not an engineer, I can't figure this out, but to go from 1,100 feet to 300 feet within, say, um, 2,000 feet, 3,000 feet, what is that angle? I don't know. Uh, if any of you mathematicians out there or people that know these things, I'm sure I could figure it out. I'm not going to take the time to do it right now. It's got to be 45 degrees or more, 50 degrees at an angle. How do you live like that? Not only on top of each other, but sideways, practically. Uh, what not to do, folks. Pray for these folks. This is horrible. Um... Let me check now on Google. I can go back in using the timeline. I, I really got to figure out how to get you guys to see this. But you guys can do this on your own. Google Earth is free. I think it's google.earth.com or something. Now, I'm going to go use this timeline here and see. Starting in 2017, 2016, back to 1974. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The trees are grow growing way... Uh, Trees are all over the place. All over the place. They started major, let's see, in 1998, a lot of trees. 1999, 2001, they started doing a little bit of trees, taken away. 2002, gone, gone, gone. Every year they keep going. Massive amounts of deforestation. So starting around uh, 1999, they started taking this away. Now I'm going to go back to 1988. Even more trees. More trees. Let's go back. I've never seen a 1974 picture. It looks like a painting. It's not even real. Um, but very green. 1975. And then it jumps to 1984. Interesting how they went back that far. How they painted something in 1974. I wonder what else they painted. It's definitely a painting. This area. I thought we did it for the whole earth. Just to make it seem like it's round. I'm zooming out. It's got little areas like uh, squares around. I guess we're going to start painting the whole earth again. Oh, there's a map going back to 1942. So we had satellites in 1942, you're saying. Scanning the earth. Is that, is that what you're telling me, Google Earth? That's pathetic liars. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Where's 1942? Show me. Over the desert? Anyway, now you guys can't see that. All right, let's move on. Here we have some tea. Yeah, we did one. <laughs> well, we learned a lot. That's the whole idea, is to not just show you guys what's going on around the world, but what your future could look like if you don't know what you're doing, where you're going, when you're planning out now your GPS waypoints, how to get there, where to go, um, where not to go, what are the signs to look out for on the Earth and in the Bible. You know, at some point in time, we're going to say, you know what? It doesn't really matter. These signs just unfolded from the Bible. Christ is, you know, breaching the atmosphere with the angels. I'm hearing horns. Just look up. Your redemption draweth nigh. All right. Uh, heat wave five days ago. One update in Iraq. Epidemic hazard USA, state of Arizona. Three updates 13 days ago. That's the prairie dog fleas, bubonic plague. Four minutes ago, epidemic hazard in Panama, a level zero. Let's see what happened there. Health authorities in Los Santos provided reports this Tuesday, the, uh, the August 15th, so it sounds like yesterday, 
that two children have been diagnosed with hantavirus. Yay, hantavirus back. Um, coordinator for epidemiologies. One case was confirmed. Um, one of the most recent one, a seven-year-old child from uh, this neighborhood here who remains hospitalized and under observation. This brings to seven the total cases of antivirus fever and the two and to the two cases of hantavirus syndrome in Providence. An inspection where the child resides was carried out. The authorities have issued a call to maintain control of crops and to do correct disposition of trash and garbage. Hantavirus. Not sure where that comes from. But uh, I do know how to address this, and I was doing this on my own experimentation for myself. I'm not a doctor. I don't recommend uh, ways to cure or prevent diseases, and this is not FDA approved. That being said, hantavirus is, my way of preparing for that is taking this stuff, which is all essential oils anyway. That's all it is. Read the ingredients. Go to the website, Wolf Creek Ranch 1, the number one, dot tripod.com. Wolf, like the dog, Wolf Creek, like running creek, ranch, like rancher. Wolf Creek Ranch 1, dot tripod.com. Um, and you'll see this here in the description below. Parvo Care Prevention Kit. Um, they might have just the Parvo. You've got to do your own uh, research on that. A lot of good stuff here. 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide. Other glass vials. Isaac T, diatomaceous earth, DMSO, turmeric, boswilla joint formula for swelling. Um... And this is all just under holistic products. And then we got uh, pet holistic information, Wolf Creek Ranch Info. Great, great website here. One of the hidden secrets out there, folks. Take advantage of it. So, definitely stockpile up on a couple bottles of that. Back to the map. Back to the map. Panama, USA. Okay, biological hazard in Texas four hours ago. And that was a level zero, the hantavirus. So when there's no hospitals and you're off-grid in the wilderness, know how to address these things from nature. Um, oh, speaking of which, i got to show you guys this really, really cool set of essential oils I found that is so cheap. Check this out. Um, I found them, I don't know, I came across them on eBay, I guess I get alerts from certain uh, things, stores. Um, watching, watch reminder, I want to know um, things that I'm watching. Watch list, here we go. I think it's all public anyway. Nothing to hide, how oh, they going to sort below, darn it. This is so many, it's a long list here, let me go back. I thought I just saw it below anyway. I saw the tips of the bottle. There we go. Stuff that I was looking at recently. You recently viewed. There we go. There we go, Mike. Um, it is a bunch of these um, oils. It's like a kit. This is more. Your watched items carousel. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This one's $25. For like 20, uh, 30 different samples. That's all you need is little samples. It's very strong. Essential oils. Um, 20 bucks. 40 bucks. And you get little bits. Like, you know, like uh, 5 milliliters or something. Tiny amount. But that's all you need because the stuff is powerful. Look, here's a big bottle of pine oil. Ah. It's awesome. Um, 12 bucks. And I think these are free shipping. So let me go through these with you. And I think it's the same, all the same company anyway. The name of this company, yeah, is um, Rib by Roo. So R-I-B-B -B as in boy, R-I-B-B-Y-R-U-E, like the French name for street, Roo. 
rib by rue. And that's their store. But here is, um, yeah, uh, free shipping. I don't know where it ships from. I'm sure it's the United States. It's from Maryland. 14 different essential oils for 20 bucks. That's mind blowing how they do that. Mind blowing. The labeling, the bottle, the caps, the shipping, the packaging, the, the processing to get it. Uh, amazing. But here, look at this. Lavender, orange sweet, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, uh, cinnamon leaf, clove blood, frankincense. Frankincense is great for anti inflammation and, and uh, immune system building up. Rosemary, great for radiation. Uh, lemongrass, uh, great for attracting bees. Uh, grapefruit, lime, spearmint, lemon, for, for 20 bucks. Um, that was a 14 pack. My favorite them. Follow this seller. Okay, well, I'm following them already. Uh, let's see the other one. Um, this one. How many is here? Let's see. For $25. So for an extra $5, you get an extra 12 vials. Only 4 milliliters, but that's okay. But look at all these. Pretty much the same thing and others. You guys can pause this. Oh, Lang Lang. I just heard some great stories about that stuff. Hmm, I can't afford this yet, but I'm going to get this when I can. Uh, so this is 26 bottles, 100% pure, great essential oil, same seller rib by rue uh shipped out of maryland 25 bucks free shipping i'm drooling right now i really am great stuff there's some bigger bottles of peppermint and lemongrass and lavender i put this in my bug out kit you know any day of the week all right to go check that out very exciting um, so what was this? Did I get to this? Oh, here we are. Anthrax. Good times, folks. Check it out. Confirmed in five cattle in Crockett County in Texas, according to the Texas Animal Health Commission this week. Um, maybe the BLM should come in there and help you guys out. No? BLM, where are you? BLM? Hello? Why aren't you helping these guys out with the anthrax, BLM? Oh. You just take people's cattle and kill them and take their land. Too soon? No. Go talk to the Bundys and ask them. That are still in jail being tortured. Yeah, in the USA. Hmm. Lights go out. I think I'm going to take a road trip. The premises in Crockett County is located approximately 13 miles east of Ozana and has been quarantined. Uh, rules require proper disposal of affected carcasses and vaccination of other cattle on the premises prior to release of the quarantine. Where's the Where's the authorities? You saw this landslide. You saw um, Red Cross, UN, um, and the other one. I don't know what it was. Was it uh, Was it Was it FEMA? No, but I don't see any any um, any uh, agencies stepping up to the plate here. Nope. Oh, anthrax! You guys can handle that. You guys can handle that locally. <laughs> uh, remain vigilant. Uh, consult your local veterinarians. Here we go. What did I just say? Consult your local veterinarians if they suspect animals are affected with anthrax or are interested in vaccinating their livestock. There we go. Anthrax is a bacterial disease caused by Bacillus anthracis, which is a naturally occurring organism with worldwide distribution. Oh, they have their own distribution channel. Good. Including certain parts of Texas. Anthrax cases in Texas are historically found in the triangular area by the towns of Uvad, Ozana, and Eagle Pass. I'm sure BLM hasn't claimed that land. This area also includes portions of Crockett, Val Verde, Sutton, 
Edwards, Kinney, and Maverick counties. A vaccine is available for use in susceptible livestock in high-risk areas. Acute fever followed by rapid death with bleeding from body openings are common signs of anthrax in animals, livestock. Carcasses may also appear bloated and appear to decompose quickly. Livestock or animals displaying symptoms consistent with anthrax should be reported to a private don't call the BLM. No, 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 no. Don't call the Red Cross. No, no, no. Don't call the UN. Go to a private vet locally. That's all. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Go, go check out, um, you know, the riots in, in the Charlotte. It's all right. Don't, worry, don't pay attention to this. Or a uh, some other official there, um, which stands for Texas Health Animal Commission. Local. All local. If affected, livestock or carcasses must be handled. Producers are encouraged to follow basic sanitation precautions such as wearing protective gloves. Ooh, real safe. Long sleeve shirt. Ooh, really safe. Are we fighting mosquitoes here? And washing thoroughly afterward to prevent accidental spread of the bacteria to people. Which symptoms are, I guess, the same. You're bleeding from your orifices. Uh, give me a second here. I gotta uh, turn on turn on some air. It's getting very hot in here. Maybe it's just me. Uh, air is on. Oh, the sun! Actually, uh, where I'm sitting, the sun uh, all of a sudden moved over. So I gotta move the computer over. Give me a second. I'm wondering why I'm sitting here getting hot and hotter and hotter. I thought it was the tea I'm drinking. <laughs> and I get up and move and see I'm sitting in the sun, beaming through the, uh, the skylight. The computer's getting hot, too. I have it up on these pillows. Uh, we shall endure. Or I could put it... I'm sorry. Give me another minute here, folks. I'm sorry. Plug the computer's coming unplugged. Place something solid on that laptop. It's overheating. Romeo! Sorry, Romeo. You can't come in here. No. You can't come in here, Romeo. No. Love you. Alright. There we go. Back in action. Give me my tea. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> so, anthrax in Texas, and the authorities aren't coming there. No unusual. Well, now we know how to keep them out. <laughs> just put up, just put up warning anthrax signs all over the place, just like they do with gun-free zones. <laughs> Maybe it'll keep the bad guys out. <laughs> enter enter at your own risk. Leave like an extra pair of gloves hanging up. You know, this will help you to not get anthrax. Good luck. Enter at your own risk. Uh, all BLM agents are welcome. <laughs> oh, man. How about just a sign that says BLM with a circle and a line going through it? BLM free zone. Uh, United Kingdom, environmental pollution. In England, no, say it isn't so. England's very clean. Especially London. There's no fog over there. It's like fresh air. What's happening in England? Hey, Mike. A large amount of diesel has pured, diesel ga gas, I guess, has pure, uh, poured into um, a lake. Suspected source of the leak is from an oil tanker near the river and has led to what the environmental agent is causing, calling a significant amount of diesel spilling into the water. Interesting, I'm not calling it diesel gas. It's diesel, is diesel. A member of the public uh, reported the leak and the environmental agency stepped in to stop the diesel. And uh, interesting, I said, environmental agency stepped in. They, they, Oh, they're the heroes. 
to um, before it drifted down. Yeah, before it drifted downstream. It's a lake. So how's it, how's it drifting? I guess maybe there's a spillway. The spokeswoman said their swift action managed to contain, like they're superheroes. They stepped in and they're swift and they stopped it. <laughs> Were they wearing a red cape and had, you know, lasers coming out of their eyes? Superheroes. Hmm. Exactly how they try to portray themselves to the public, these agencies. They're the superheroes. One of the, that's why they're Stan Lee is having such success with his, uh, the great movies. Uh, but all these uh, cartoon things come into life. Just as these agencies are coming to our rescue as superheroes. Have no fear. The BLM is here. Fear not. FEMA and the Red Cross will save you. Don't believe the hype, folks. 100-year plan, self-sustaining. You, God, in nature. Amen. <clears throat> so, another leak in England. Next. And that was a level zero, I guess, because it's not affecting people yet. Biological hazard. USA, state of Alaska. Oh, yeah, that was that uh, one up north there. Let's see on the map what that says. It has a single, good single. Um, let's zoom out. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Volcano in the south there. Yeah, it's getting pretty frigid up there. Um, it's still in a um, terrain area with 2.0. This happened in California. Um, still in a terrain area there with some greenery, I see. Stacy National Conservative Conservation Area. I mean, you can't sneeze anywhere in Alaska without hitting some sort of preserve or conservation area that the government has encroached their talons upon. I, you know, what blew my mind. I was upstate a few a uh, few years ago, five or six years ago. Um. I forget how the conversation came up or what was it was surrounding it, but I was noticing people fishing. I was like, oh, that's great fishing area. I got to go there. I got to throw a fishing pole. I'll throw a line out. It's like, no, you can't do that. It's like, what do you mean? I'm going to go fishing. Oh, no, no, no. You're not, you have to have a license. It's like, what are you talking about? I have a fishing pole. There's some fish in the lake. I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to throw my line and catch some fish. No, 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 no. You, you got to go apply. You fill out an application. Pay a, fine, uh, pay a fee and, and see if they'll approve you. If they answer these questions, you got to know what you're doing. Okay. What are you talking about? I'm going fishing. <laughs> the guy was serious. And he said, that's the law now. You're not allowed to go fishing. I don't know if this is national or just upstate New York. You have to have a license to go fishing. I, I thought it was comical. I was looking around for cameras. I was, I was like, is this a comic skit, skit? What's going on here? What do you mean I have to have a license to go fishing? License to go hunting, to go fishing. What's next? A, a license to drive. You know, anything they could put their talent claws into to encroach upon our God-given rights, they do. We have the right to travel unmolested, freely. We have the right to eat off of God's land. Agriculture. You need a license. To grow crops, you need a license if you're going to sell it to people. Where does it end, folks? Where does the the, the tyranny, the slavery, uh, the imprisonment, where does it end? Bigger, bigger government, less, less rights, more encroachment on the Constitution. God, get me off this planet, please, Jesus. All right, let's see what's happening here in Alaska. Recent animal, oh yeah, I, read, I can't even pronounce this, Tol, 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 R, Emia, Tolar, Tolarmia, Tolarmia, silent E. Recent animal Tolarmia cases in Alaska has prompted officials to warn the public 
how to avoid the bacteria infection. There we go. That's a good start. But what is it? In themselves and their pets. Two domestic cats infected with Tularmia died recently in the North Pole area. North Pole? This is Alaska. Why are you talking about the North Pole? And reports of sick snowshoe hares, rabbits, around Fairbanks and the Mataanuska Valley suggested outbreaks may be on the increase because of two in, the, in these regions. Tularmia, Tularmia, Tularmia is an infection caused by the Francilla tularnius bacteria. It most often kills hares, rabbits, but can also cause serious illness in peoples, dogs, and cats. While the disease can be fatal if untreated, it is easily cured if diagnosed quickly and antibiotics prescribed. Biotics, biotics, whatever. Um, well, I have my antibiotics right here. Which are a lot of, I just showed you too, in the essential oils. And simply, I had some this morning. I had some um, golden seal this morning. Here's garlic, ginger. These are antibiotics. Indigo, licorice, cinnamon. Have you heard of these folks? Have you heard of these antibiotics that you don't have to go to a pharmacy for and get a prescription and get approval and get a license to, to give these to people and a pharmaceutical uh, big uh, company uh, shoving it down your throat? No. Nope. Got it in my backyard. Honey, turmeric, elderberry, echinacea, cumin, cranberries, antibiotics. Thank you very much. You can add to this uh, a lot of essential oils, clove, thyme, oregano, um, colloidal silver. It's not an essential oil, but you can buy that or make it colloidal silver. <sighs> And on and on and on and on. What else? Common signs in people and pets include lethargy, sudden lack of appetite, high fever, and swollen lymph nodes. The disease is spread by ticks, and hares are the primary host. Interesting. But this is Alaska. I guess they, it's, it's the warm season up there now. The ticks are around. I didn't even think that was possible. Oh, I love the winter. The tick species known to carry the bacteria prefer to live on hares, but will occasionally bite dogs, cats, or people. That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know ticks had a preference of, of blood sucking and biting. Uh, maybe they have. Uh, maybe it's a better ride where they uh, gallop so fastly and eloquently across the land. What else can we learn about this Tularmia? The tick species known to carry the bacteria prefer to live on hairs, but we'll, okay, we read that. Um, although the tick bites are one possible cause, pets most often get tular, tular, <laughs> Tularmia from mouthing or catching a sick hair. Ah. People can become infected by handling hairs or from infected pets' saliva. Don't let booch lick you. Even before the pet exhibits signs of illness, Tularmia is most often diagnosed in hairs and pets between Memorial Day and Labor Day because it is spread by ticks which are active during the summer. Don't allow your pets to roam free or have access to sick hares. Yeah, good luck with that. Especially in Alaska. Said wildlife veterinarian Kimberly Beckman. If your pet is if your pet acts sick, usually within two to three days of catching an infected hare, go to the vet to get antibiotics. Do this immediately, even after hours, because the disease can be rapidly fatal but is easily treatable. What is the name of the antibiotic? Mm -hmm. 
If your pet does come in contact with a dead hare, wear gloves or use a plastic bag to take the animal away from the pet and wash hands thoroughly after handling anything out of the pet's mouth. Thoroughly wash any scratches, bites, wounds made by pets or wildlife immediately with soap and water and seek medical attention, especially if fever, redness, swelling, or flu-like symptoms appear afterwards. Double bag and dispose of dead hairs in the trash or bury where dogs and scavengers cannot get to them. Um, <clears throat> I would take it a step further here in description, since they're getting so much information, is what is the lifespan of contagious infection? you got a dead carcass there. Yeah, you got to bury it and dispose of it. Um, but if you have a frozen dead carcass there from last year, you suspect it dying from that, do you have to be concerned about it, especially if it defrosts? Can it, be re, uh, can it come out of a dormant stage? Maybe I'm getting too technical. Um, that's my mind. And so, let's go and do some research here. Tomaria, copy, and paste. Alternative treatments. Uh, let's see. New York Times. No, I won't be reading from them. Thank you very much. Natural Cure for Tulmeria and Alternative Treatments. Naturalcure4.com. Treatments. Tulmeria. Tulmeria, whatever. Let's see. Okay. Definition. Diagnose. Treatment. Um, using antibiotics. Here's some uh, common antibiotics. I've seen these before. Got to get some of these. Um, streptomycin and tetracycline. Tetracycline, used a lot. The use of um, gentromycin once daily has also been tried with excellent results, but only few cases have been studied. So where's my natural? Oh, God, it's disgusting. Causes um, bite of a tick, horsefly, or mosquito. So where's the natural? Come on, are you kidding me, guys? I asked for natural. No? I want to give it? All right. Go somewhere else, then. I see a video here, but without having previously watched that, and I don't want to play their audio because they're playing a song or something, I'll get a, I'll get in trouble. Red flag. I infringed upon the rights thereof. Rightdiagnose.com, Tomaria Treatments. Correct diagnose. Different diagnose may include similar anthrax, Tamaria market products, dip discounts. Again, um, waste of a website, landing page stuff. CDC, no thank you. Mayo Clinic, no thank you. Tomaria symptoms, treatments, and transmissions. Rabbit fever infected. I don't see much of alternative here. Lyme and tick-borne diseases. Products, Tomaria. Healtone.com. All right, uh, natural treatment. Not getting where, very where, folks. Not getting very far. I see a price. Hey, these guys got to keep a low profile. 
Let's see. Mail. And. How does that help? Add to cart. Only five minutes to end it. I don't know what this stuff is. Really don't know. They're not telling you. They're just giving you a price, and here's the treatment. I mean, I would try this, actually. I would actually, for 14 bucks, and see what they ship you. But this is kind of smart. It's kind of smart in a way. They cannot, no one can come after them right now, because they're not disclosing what it is. They're just saying, uh, Tumaria, treatment, 14 bucks. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Off-grid stuff. Very smart. Uh, E-medicine. Let's see what this is. An article. Maybe we'll have a little more information. Approaches, consideration, surgical, consultation, reporting. Um, don't see anything. Continues. Next. Antibiotic therapies, reporting. All right, I usually don't click next on these things, but let's see. No, this is all um, prescription stuff. Alternative. What are you not understanding? Search engines about alternative, natural. Okay, natural alternatives. Let's go to natural. Another keyword. N A T U R A, natural. Natural. Okay. Symptom diagnosis treatment. Uh, abstract consensus treatment as a biological. No, CDC, excellenthealth.org. Natural alternative treatment menus, library article, rabbit fever, deer fly fever, name, causes, risk factor, symptoms, oh boy, a lot of fever, swollen, shock, diagnose, treatment. Although antibiotics uh, treat most bacterial infections, first few doses of antibiotics will be injected, in, no, no injections. Natural or alternative. Wasting my time here, folks, and your time too, I'm sorry. But trying to get an end to a mean here. Symptom treatment. Need alternative or natural? Alternative as alternative. Uh chlorophenical. If I can't pronounce it. I don't want it. <laughs> ColumbiaLime.org alternative except uh, Genta Missin, uh, Mycene, Selene, all these pharmaceutical things that you can't buy if you don't have a university PhD licensed. Public health, natural alternative treatments. Got gov. No, I see a gov in there. No good. Thank you. Wikipedia overview. Conditions. Vet. Oh, veterinarian. Early treatment. I wonder if I put this word into my uh, that creek place we just went to. Copy. Um, let's check that out. Should have done this first. Um, <clears throat> I have all these in here. Well, let's first do a search. Find. Paste. Nothing? No? Okay. Not on this page doesn't mean it's not in here. We can get to their home page. Is that possible? Where's your home page? 
maybe a search. Click here to view our featured product and specials. Initializing, is there a big disclaimer? Um, let's try this again. No, okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a great amount of information, huh? If I was rich, I'd buy everything here. Ten of them. Ten of everything. Uh, um, I don't see a search. Darn it. All right. Another minute. One more minute, and then we're moving on. It's taking up too long. Health, Lewis Ford, Henry Ford, Allegiance Health. All right, last one. I give up. Definitions, causes, risk factors, symptoms. It's like the same thing. Yeah, antibiotic, same garbage. Thanks for nothing. So, as I've said on many videos, how I would go about seeing symptoms of an infection. First, you gotta. Excuse me, I'm yawning here. First, you have to, um, you, you can't diagnose it. You're in the field, you're in the wilderness, you're in the woods, you're getting all these symptoms. Uh, I'm going to have to go out on limb here and say I'm going to treat them all the same, me, myself, unless I'm with a doctor type of person that has books that could go through or look at it or I learn over the years. Yeah, different ailments require different, more specific treatments. But at first, in the beginning, I'm going to broad stroke them uh, until I get better at that. So, like an overdose, so I'm going to first take, if this was affecting me, not knowing what it was, I'm going to take some activated charcoal. That's probably the most abundant, easiest thing to have with you or make, very simply by, it's the charcoal left over from burning wood. It's the burnt um, black char of wood. Crush that up, tablespoon sized, glass of water, drink it. That'll absorb the toxins and, the, uh, and um, you know, the invading abnormalities in the body. First thing the hospital does when somebody comes in for a drug overdose that they don't know what it is, but they're seizing, they're in convulsions, they're doing this, that, the burns on the mouth, they activated charcoal. That eliminates a lot of, doesn't eliminate, that just helps. Then um, bentonite clay. Um, you got to mix a teaspoon, half a teaspoon into a glass of water, leave it sit for an hour, drink that down. That, again, absorbs more, but along the lines of heavy metals and toxins and helps the body to eliminate that. Now you're helping the body to cure itself just by those two things alone. You're not even attacking the... the um, um, the main virus or bacteria, just aiding the body really to help itself. So now you want to attack the um, effects of this and the virus itself with essential oils. Um, diluted with other oils, water if you have to, kind of shake it up good. Uh, thyme oil, clove oil, oregano oil, um, few drops of each, five drops of each maybe, and um, drink that down in a glass of water. I'd say do that every two or three hours. Rest, uh, if you got fever, cold compresses, elevate feet, lie down, fresh air, um, loose garments, um, plenty of fluids, and hopefully the body could cure, it, cure itself, heal itself. You can also do a paste on the bentonite clay you don't have bentonite, get any clay, put it on the bottom of your feet, make a paste out of it, let it dry and suck out, absorb the toxins. You can do the same like uh, under the armpits, in the groin area, uh, places where you usually sweat a lot, in the middle of the chest, um, forehead, let's don't get in your eyes, uh, and let that dry over a couple hours and that'll absorb the toxins as well. It'll draw out like a salve, it'll draw out 
these toxins. And if, you're in, if your immune system is in decent shape, that should be enough to um, treat this. This is what I would do and how I would treat myself. Well, what do I know? I've just been studying this 12 years. No degree, no university telling me other than God and nature. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing new yet. What did we leave off on? Guam, USA, North Carolina, hazmat. Let's see what that is. I don't think we did that. Florida was a flood. A deputy was hospitalized after reportedly exposed to chemicals while responding to a breaking and entering call. Oh, yeah, I read this. This is some abandoned building. Uh, it's been closed. He says exposed to chemicals. I'll pray for this man. You know, if that was my job, I'd have every meter and sensor and, uh, <laughs> you know, way to not only diagnose the air, quality of the air, infrared, uh, you know, UV lighting before to treat afterwards. I'd be uh, probably walking around in a hazmat suit or have a hazmat suit in the car. You want me to go into this abandoned chemical building uh, in, in the dark and check out some creepy noises or where some murderers are hanging out? That's why I pray for these cops, man. They'll, they'll dig right in. They, some of them thrive on this. Like, yeah, challenge. Finally, I'll have to give out a speeding ticket. Um, you got to be able to handle your situation the best you can, your ability. A lot of cops make good money, too. I know here in Long Island, uh, it's a disgusting amount. And the pensions, but they deserve it. Let me tell you, they deserve it a lot more than politicians. Before I tell you that much, I'd rather see they them get the money. Terror attack just happened in Spain. Let's read this live breaking news. Terror attack just happened in Spain. Well, we, uh, I tried to click on it, would not let me do this. Let's see if this happens. Uh, in our emergencies, current events, short to long term events, no. Darn it. All right. Uh, where's Spain? Spain is up here, I think. Uh, Greece, Spain. Okay. Has not registered yet. Uh, has to, what's the word? Propagate. I'm refreshing. So breaking news, breaking news. Just happened live here now. 1235, August 17, 2017. Terror attack just happened in Spain. CIA is at it again. It's not coming up. Why don't we do a quick uh, YouTube search? Sometimes these things are an hour behind. Terror attacks in Spain. Last hour. Barcelona, terrorist attack. 17.8 Twitter video montage. Uh, make sure this is muted. See cops on the scene there. Uh, this is the aftermath. Make it a higher quality resolution here. Walking around with some guns slowly. No helmets. Terror attack. People hanging around. Cops with auto, you know automatic weapons. No helmets. How worried are they? Got a sideways video of a Muslim woman with a uh, burqa on, it looks like. Picking up stuff. Like well, picking up evidence. She just picked something up. Uh, huh, at least they got a shield. I gotta get some of those shields. Maybe they're hunting somebody down here. Probably hot. Yeah, it's hot. People walk around in t shirts. These guys are dressed fully in black. Good thing you wear black, guys. They look like, uh, you know, the boogeyman. Don't mess with us. We're dressed in black. All right. 
A lot of people get some footage here. A lot of people get everyone got their cameras out. Someone is running. Looks like a drill. Looks like something out of Hollywood. You know, they quarantine off an area and action. You know, what's that? I see uh, someone on the floor there. Now let's go back. Um, oh yeah, I see. I just saw some other footage. Uh, Two men entered restaurant after car plows into crowd in Las Ramblas, Spain. Oh, another car attack. Way to go, guys. I'll pray for those folks here. <clears throat> Up on the feed yet? Let's see. No. Nothing. Come on. You serious? That's what I, this site is sometimes slow and uh, it's great, but sometimes it's slow in getting stuff up in there. Um, itemizing here. All right. Let's see. Moving on. Uh, Twelve hours ago, flood in Florida. Forest fire in Canada, biological hazard USA in Utah, extreme weather in USA, Kansas City, vehicle accident in uh, Hawaii, explosion in United Kingdom in England, level two, um, and a lot of extreme weather, you know, a day ago, Australia, Germany, South Dakota, India. Kansas, a lot of extreme weather around. All right, three days ago, three updates. Greece, wild forest fire, a level three. Let's see, a lot of updates. Let's go see what's going on there. About Greece. Greece requested European civilian protection assistance on Tuesday. What is that? Requested your Greece, your requested European civilian protection assistance on Tuesday to help combat the forest fires raging near Athens. I like that. I like the way they word that. They don't hear that in the United States. Civilian protection assistance. It's more like the opposite to telling you what to do. How about civilian evacuation or civilian resettlement or uh, uh, civilian containment or civilian relocation? Protection assistance. I like the way they put that. To help combat forest fire raging near fires with an S near Athens. Um, due, the, due to the ferocity and the large scale of the fires, Greece activated the Union uh, European Union Civilian Protection Mechanism. Hmm. On to the request forest buying plans to help stop the spread of raging wild forest fires in eastern suburb of Athens. According to Malari, France refused to contribute with two pairs of Canadian firefighters' planes. Why did they do that? France refused to help. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, noting that it needs its arsenal means to cope with the fires raging inside the country. Cyprus is going to send six fire engines and 60 firemen to assist Greece's battle against wild forest fires. That's nice. Six engines and 60 firefighters. Praise God. Uh, Justice Minister of Cyprus, Lenos Nikolou, on Tuesday spoke on the phone with Greek Civilian Protection Minister Nikos Taukas to organize, with an S, the transfer of the firefighting force from Cyprus to Greece, according to... All right, so you had a command control center going on here. European Union Civilian Protection Mechanism. It's just worded here differently. In, in the United States here, it's called uh, FEMA camps, or um, uh, the National Guard that come and take your guns away. Let's see, what do we have here? Commission. Uh, 
these guys. The civilian protection assistant consists of governmental aid delivered in the immediate aftermath of a disaster. It can take the form of in-kind assistance, deployment of specially equipped teams, or assessment and coordination by experts sent to the field. Yet, disasters know no borders. A well-coordinated response at a European level is necessary to avoid duplication of relief efforts and ensure that assistance meets the real needs of the affected region. All right, that's good. I'll check those folks out. Um, but these guys are doing not waiting for the aftermath. They're activating this uh, protocol commission here now while the event is going on. For some, it is past. For some, it's present. For some, it's future. Um, because these fire fires are, these forest fires are raging on. Very nice. Very nice. Good job, Europe. Contain and control. I mean, uh, contain and uh, quarantine. Where is it all about to control, folks? Do these agencies, those authorities that have this intact, these uh, protocols, are they really weeping, losing sleep, saying, oh my God, these poor people? No, it comes from the higher up echelons, calculating the dollar signs which each of us represent that we can contribute to society. Less people, less taxes. Less people, less production. Less people, weaker society, weaker society, invasion. That's what it comes down to. We are nothing more than protective servants to these agencies. Just like a school. Less students, less money. Uh, let's see. Three days ago, two updates. Epidemic hazard in San Diego, California. And update. San Diego State canceled Monday night's football practice, good, to try to quell an outbreak of chicken pox among players. <laughs> oh, how, how heartily felt they must feel. The school said that would give workers time to clean and disinfect the weight room and locker room. What are you guys doing in there? Practice is rescheduled to resume Tuesday afternoon. All right, so you got 12 hours. Go ahead, go back to it. How about UV light? How about, you know, coming in and testing it for contamination? Five confirmed cases, and the school is in touch. You know, you know how many pe parents are talking about school and keeping, you know, low, low attendance rates? How many uh, parents are keeping their kids out of school this week? I guarantee you a lot. Guarantee attendance is very low. That's, this is when they should activate an online school teaching. You know, everyone should have a, a uh, you know a webcam, camera, laptop. In the event of emergency, we, we class will continue online. 8 a.m. You sign in, and we have to see you there. Uh, the teacher sees like all little squares of everyone's face in that classroom. Teacher can host it from his own home as well too. While professionals go in, whether the school is rebounding, uh, rebuilding, or coming out of some lockdown situation, decontaminating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. School is in session online. Log in. The same consequence. You don't log in. You know, sit there in front of the computer like you would at a desk. You know, break every hour or so. Great idea. Multi-million dollar idea just gave you guys. Go go run with it. I'm going to patent it first so you can't have it. <laughs> All right. Uh, no more updates. Um, what else? Is there anything big level four here? India landslide. And Yemen's epidemic is still catastrophic. Earthquakes. 37 minutes ago. Did, did the Spain thing come in yet? Do I have to refresh for that? Where are you? Spain, terror attack, level four. Here we go. Okay. 
Just happening, folks. Spreading now. White van jumped the sidewalk in the city's uh, uh, historic Las Ramblas district and crashed into a summer crowd of residents and tourists, injuring several people, police said. The Spanish e-newspaper El Palace quoted unnamed police sources saying the armed predators of the crash were holed up in a bar in taller streets. There was no immediate police confirmation of the report in a photograph shown by public broadcaster RTVE. Three people were lying in the street after the afternoon accident and were apparently being helped by police and others. So the actors were lying in the street, okay, and the acting police came by. Police cordoned off the broad popular street, uh, ordering stores and nearby metro and train stations to close. They asked people to stay away from the area, which they're not. So the area was not yet a way of the emergency services. A helicopter hovering over the scene. Ah, big Hollywood and action. Uh, cut off from the center. Taurus wide. Let's see. I don't see anything else here. Soon to be debunked. Coming to a town near you. Okay. CIA meets Hollywood. And you saw the cops. You saw that video. They're just walking around calmly. No headgear on. Um, you know, this is going to be more and more exposed as a hoax. Watch. Last hour. Uh, new tragedy. Five people killed. Illusionist media. How long is this? This is only a minute long. Got a great picture in the front there. Uh, what is this now? You're showing cops driving by? That's it. This is your, uh, your video of what? Some paper? Body bags? Alright, not impressed. Going back, back. Oh, we saw that video, saw that video. That's it, three videos. Big terror attack. You know, um, so far it seems like an accident or a by design hoax because these guys supposedly got out with guns and went into a um, a bar now what have they been killed detained um, is there fighting going on Um, let's see. This is another one. Make sure this volume's out. How long is it? This is five minutes long. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I see people lying on the ground here. Medics, people walking about, cop waving his arms, get back, get back. Uh, let's see, one, two, three people, four people lying. Don't know what that is. I think we saw this angle already. Cops tracing about, no helmets. No helmets. How do you not have helmets on? Shot to the head, you're dead. Mm. 
so many, so much good technology can be used. They could be using drones, cameras, dogs. You know, oh, there's helmets. Oh, all right, take two. Let's go with the helmets now this time, guys. And action. Uh, run back, so that someone else reporting. Oh, this garbage station. I don't want them. Let's close them down because I'll get a uh, a um, flag. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, let's get back to the map. Back to the map. Um, so, we'll see. Time will tell. You know, it, it could be real, but, again, by design. Less rights. Less guns. Sooner or later, after it all implodes, and everyone's, you know, every man for themselves... Um, they're going to realize, listen, everybody needs a gun. Everyone needs a Bible, needs a gun. Simple as that. God, guns, and glory. Okay, where are we going? Earthquakes. <clears throat> 2.0, 47 minutes ago in California. A uh, bunch of twos and threes. Hawaii, California, Chile, New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand. 4-2 in Russia, Europe, 3-5-3-2, Russia, Chile, 4-1, Asia, Japan, a um, bunch of twos, all twos, Italy, Montana, Turkey, New Zealand, Greece, New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand, Portugal, 3.1, uh, twos in Alaska and Portugal and New Zealand, 5-2 in Africa, Ivory Coast, um, we're due, folks, for a big quake. We're really due for a 7, 8.0. It's overdue. North America, a uh, bunch of twos in, uh, let's see, Alaska, Utah, New Zealand, Turkey, United States, Montana, Washington State, New Zealand, and Turkey. Four, six in India twice. Twos in Colombia, New Zealand, Alaska, New Zealand, New Zealand. Four fours in East Timor uh, ten hours ago. Uh, three five in Chile, three seven in Portugal, twos in uh, Turkey, New Zealand, Greece, Turkey, 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 Greece, three four, Caribbean Sea, British Virgin Islands, four one in Mexico, four point oh Mexico, three point one Caribbean Dominican Republic, and two six Greece, Greece, Greece and Turkey, past one hundred earthquakes in twenty one hours. So uh, that's not a lot spread out over time so we're definitely pressurizing for a big one folks so they got's coming I wonder what Dutch sense has to say about that 18 days ago five days ago no tsunamis volcanoes activity August 17th nothing let's look at the 16th 17th timeline there's one tropical storm they're saying uh, off of the East Coast of the United States right now way out way out hundreds of miles out 185 kilometer hours of winds. So that's pretty strong. Um, okay, so 16th and 17th for super volcano monitoring system for active volcanoes that are huffing and puffing. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Same as uh, Tuesday. Um, actually, I didn't do a show yesterday, so am I missing anything from a day ago? And these other things here. Okay, extreme weather, a level four in India. Let's go to that. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, when I went to sleep Monday night, they um, received uh, 44.8 millimeters of rain for August. When it woke up on Tuesday morning, the figure rose to 128 millimeters, the highest rainfall in a day since 1890. According to the Met Department, it made up nearly 88% of the rain expected over the entire month, pouring down in the city from 11 p.m. on Monday to 4 a.m. Tuesday. Wow. The highest uh, ever rainfall recorded in the city in a day was on August 27th, 1890, 
when Ben Gol Euro received 162 millimeters of rain. According to the Arctic State Disaster Monitoring Center, the record was broken on Tuesday. It said the city received 184 centimeters of rain since Monday night, the highest record being recorded in Bella Kahali. The overnight rain flooded several parts of the city, submerging parking lots and entire road stretches, and snapped power in vast swaths since the early hours of Tuesday. Um, the lake, some lake breached a retaining wall while foam from a lake flowed to neighboring localities. Over 40 rescue boats came out in uh, ST bed area uh, while fire departments called to flush out water from apartments and um, among other areas, at least 26 trees were uprooted. Wildlife volunteers received panic calls as snakes entered homes. Ooh, don't think about that. Um, there's a whole nother game ball right there, folks. Think about that. You have... Ugh, excuse me, I'm stretching. Let's, you have a flooding going on. So not only do you have to worry about the flooding, the water, the disaster, the displacement, you have to now worry about Animals, reptiles, whatever it is, fishes, sharks, snakes um, that are natural habitats in water coming into your home, into your area. So if you're walking down the street and it's flooded and you think you're safe, guess again. There could be a shark in that street with you in that, under that water. <laughs> boy, oh boy, this gets better and better. Talk about refugee displacement. My oh Lord. Oh, uh, well, pray for these folks here in India. Um, any updates on this? I don't think so. Um, where's the map of this? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do a population on that um, other area off of um, uh, Sierra Leone there. Let's go back to that. Um, all right, so here's the uh, area in India. It's being massive rain. Where is this on the um, Earth as far as from the equator? Okay, so it's just north of the equator, say like around like the Florida line height. Right? Keep zooming out. Where's Florida? Oh, no, way up south. Maybe around the Caribbean, Cuba. What just happened? Update on the terror attack. Let's go to that. Just happened. Wait, more details. Let me click on it this time. Okay. The terrorists alleged to have plowed a van into a crowd of pedestrians in a popular tourist area. It's uh, a good way to start. Alleged. Resulting in confirmed deaths. Were holes where? Oh, were holed up in a restaurant. Thursday, as images of the carnage shows bodies lying crumpled and bleeding in the streets, flooded from the Spanish city, Catalan police tweeted that there, um, I'm sorry, what is it? So the streets flooded forth from the Spanish city. You know, they, they, they add such um, descriptive terminology, you know, adjectives. Uh, police tweeted, there are Mortal victims and injured from the... So this is what you tweet. When, 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 when we say action, you tweet this out. Okay? Because you're the reporters now as well. Without specifying numbers. The Barcelona-based La Vargoria newspaper is reporting at least one dead and 20 injured. The incident took place on Las Roma, Barcelona, the famous main pedestrian walkway that crossed the city. Uh, so... Tourism places seem to be on the rise of terrorist attacks by design because it'll kill tourism. It'll keep people from traveling. Traveling's a bad thing because it allows people to see how other people live, other people's cultures, other people's communications. Don't communicate to yourselves. We'll tell you what's going on. 
So stay at home, don't travel, and we'll keep you informed on what's going on around the world. And trust us in our reporting, and uh, we'll tell you how bad it really is out there. Stay at home, we got your back. Uh, police described the incident on Twitter as a massive crash. Blood everywhere, oozing down the street, guts everywhere. They're treating the crash as a terrorist attack. Of course they are. You know, somebody sneezes in the wrong direction at the terrorist attack. Quoting, you know, it's like the it's like when you cry wolf, it gets it gets uh, worn out, guys. At this point, uh, two perpetrators of the crash were holed up in a bar. All right, so they're going for a drink. Killed some people, and let's grab a drink. There were no immediate police confirmations of the report. In a photograph shown by public broadcaster, three people were lying on the ground, the streets apparently being helped by police and others. A grisly video of the incident appeared to show at least five people lying motionless on the ground. Grisly, with legs twisted and heads bloodied. It was a real chaos. Screaming started running with a loud bang. Unbelievable. Footage from reporters on the ground showed armed officers, of course. Yeah, and here's the armed. Now, you know, they're in major um, censorship mode right now on YouTube. Major censorship. Nothing goes up until it's screened. I'm sure they have a screening department now by the CIA. Yeah, okay, you could do this first. First it goes to the CIA and then to the FBI and then it goes to YouTube. Uh, and then if uh, the process passes there... Uh, censorship then we'll upload it all right we'll check back on that where are we i think we're done here right i was, I was going back to um this place up here oh they uh put this in the emergencies uh, Leon, right. I wanted to go to the population. That's to show you how densely populated that is. Densely, densely populated. Look at that. Yep, see that? That's the darkest area right there. And that's the darkest area right there. This island. Heavily, densely populated. These people are living right on top of each other. Literally. I mean, if you sneeze, your neighbor is saying, bless you. Five doors down. <laughs> You're going to hear, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. <laughs> or the 20, or everyone around you in a circle. Densely, highly populated. All right, let's go to, um, if I start getting into yesterday too, folks, it's going to be too much, too long. Let's get into my YouTube channel. Subscriptions here. If the computer will listen to me. All right, Begley's on, Total Eclipse of the Sun, S-O-N. I like how he spelled that. Ah, ha, ha. Good for you, Begley. The Coming Apocalypse. That's great. Uh, U.S. Media in Total Meltdown, William Mount. Yes, of course, yes. Can't control Trump. Their biggest fear of nightmares. Nikola Tesla. No, one, no one's got the Spain, uh, you know, thing up. Incident just happened. I'm the first one reporting on this, I guess. The Galactic Cross is upon us. Nikola Tesla ghost in American homestead. Answering Bitcoin comments and spreadsheets. Uh, Chicago traffic report captures red orb object with tail. Okay. Um, truth about Yemen. Oh, that should be interesting. I'm just talking about, talking about the cholera. Half a million people being affected. 3,000 3, died. Misconception, foot, footnotes, and randomness and feedback from Minute Physics. Minute Physics, Minute. Dr. Uh, Josh Axe. What are prebiotics, benefits, and sources? Oh, I've never heard of a prebiotic. A probiotic, not prebiotics. Uh, Dutch Sense, uh, this globe is on. We are changed, the chaos, exenda program. Shopify, Amazing Facts, Islam, Christianity, and Prophecy 
part two. That should be good. Go check that out from Amazing Facts. Doug Bachelor, Pastor. Uh, let's see. Six hundred dollars for gravel. Salt and footings with the foam insulating. Foam vog. This vegetable will fix everything wrong with your body. Radishes. <clears throat> Chris Ann Hall, fireside chat with Obama, Congress, and Megyn Kelly. All right, you can keep that to yourself. What is in my compact motorcycle first aid kit? That should be good. Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy. Uh, meet the Cabinet, Administrator Mick uh, Moen. Mm hmm. Superstitions and Myths About Solar Eclipses from Nemesis Maturity. Natural Ways. Never eat your fruits and vegetables until you do this, or washing them with apple cider vinegar. Update Your Health and Tucci uh, Jarif with Neil Wolf from April Waters. It's the upstate New York. Uh, good group going on up there. Charlottesville. A gun in his face, but he got the photo by Greg Pallast, April Waters. Murda Melfa, the first Boston free speech rally, Boston Commons, Massachusetts. The Oath Keepers are there, you see, that's good. Join them, folks. If you have not yet joined the Oath Keepers, join your local group or start one. Oathkeepers.org. Vice President Prince. Deli uh, my tongue just got in a knot. Vice President Pence delivers remarks at uh, Cacoli Locks. What? I don't know what that is. Um, White House Vice President Pence in Argentina. Got something to do with it. Big sunspots facing Earth. Solar winds hit Earth's eclipse from space. Nemesis maturity. Eric Berg, uh, Kimchi Health Benefits, Ham Radio, Ham Rad 88, End, sign, end Time Signs, News and Conspiracy, The Extreme Weather Happened Before, Solar, I watched this, this is garbage, I'm going to a waste of time, um, Maddie's Top 5 Alien Invaders, Earth Unplugged, I don't know what that's about. And the Common Sense Show with Dave Hodges. The Common Sense Show, three hours. It only says 50 minutes here, but... Morris, 108 Morris. Somebody please give him a dollar. From uh, a live here from Cambodia connection where <coughs> mosques are being built faster than food stations. Uh, Israel... Israeli actions mimic the Cowboys and Australian settlers. No coincidence. Morris, good man. All right, Target Tracker TV. This guy invented uh, some great ways for target practicing with uh, these trackers. Eric Berg, receding gums and vitamin C. Christ forgiveness, London, August. No excuses. The most misunderstood animal on, excuse me, I got to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh -wee. Praise Lord. Uh, this was the possum. Yeah, disgusting creature that they seem to allow around, around their um, animals. And it, it causes diseases in horses. See those things? Uh, read the commentaries. It's funny. <laughs> uh, off grid at Doug and Stacy. They they're praising this animal. And people just tearing it apart. They're like that thing meets the end of my pitchfork every time I see one. He plays dead. I know that stinker ain't dead. I pitch him with my fork. <laughs> uh, uh, the Western Poach does it again. The biggest fiction yet. Common sense show. Um, Christ forgiveness. Wielding the sword of God. Common sense show scientists validate the threat to America is greatly exaggerated. Evie Fox, home remedies for health. This is the biggest fat burning of the 21st century. And you 
do not know it. It is amazing. That looks like chia seeds to me, as far as I'm can see. So check it out for yourself. Attention, this herb is more powerful than garlic, 850 times more. This is the oil I've been telling you guys about all along. It's thyme oil, T-H-Y-M-E. Go get you some. Excuse me. End, end stage cancer. Patient tells the truth about this insure, I guess, insure pudding. Uh, it's Eve Fox. Eva Fox. Hillary turns... <laughs> make me laugh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And maybe turns Christian uh, into uh, prisoners or something. Uh, plan at, at Planned Parenthood, no less. Right. Yeah. So now she's playing the game saying, oh, Trump got elected by, um, you know, speaking out against Planned Parenthood and abortion. And he won because Christians voted for him. I'm going to be Christian now and I'm going to get elected. Yeah. Good luck with that. Let's see you get baptized and re and uh, rebuke Islam and uh, rebuke the Quran and um, rebuke all these other uh, false uh, Hollywood uh, spectacles. Give your life to Christ. Start showing up every Sabbath at a uh, synagogue or a um, Seventh-day Adventist church. See how that works, Hillary. Good luck with that. It's possible Christ can do anything, so pray for her. Drone flight on back, 40 mm, GoPro cam. You know, if, if she does this, she won't run for any elected official office. Just go to church, stay out of the media, and keep going to church. Get off the grid. Uh, you are the president. Montograph. Okay, not sure what that's about. Uh, common Sense Show, the alt-left versus the alt-right, Trump's brilliant move. Citizen Action Now, Fox News hosts sick over Trump white nationalist comments. Good. <laughs> I, I love that one uh, clip from, I don't know what uh, what fake journalist host it was that should be fired. Um, he, uh, it was on one of the mainstream, lamestream media stations. And then the, during the election, uh, <laughs> he's like whispering off camera as Trump's winning. He's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, he's winning. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, having a, he's having a meltdown right there on camera. I love it. Uh, citizen action now. Don Lemon rages about Trump's sister. All right, let's get into some uh, meaningful <laughs> CNN, Fox. Let's see some something that I like watching this guy. I think he's fascinating. Even though you see the commentaries about him uh, being torn apart, the guy goes around with these horses. He's working on, like, stallions and, uh, you know, racing horses and thoroughbreds and uh, Arabian horses. An Arabian horse he's working on, like a million-dollar horse. And he's showing how he's treating their problems, you know. He's fast. He's accurate. But people in the commentaries are like, oh, my God. You 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 abuse her. You uh you you idiot. You're like you know you're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. You know do it this way. Do it that way. You know, the guy's got skills I could never come you know come close to. Um, I'm sure he's got scars to prove it too. Working with these big animals. Um, but he's changing out this hoof on the uh, horse that has like some sort of. He shows you the X-ray, uh, overgrown um, nail. I guess it is a hoof. Um, so he made a custom-designed uh, hoof and, and um, template, and uh, so everyone's saying, um, comment, oh, wasn't this one? No, this one he did a good job on. Another video he did about, there was a cyst, and he, uh, yeah, he popped the cyst, and he dug it out, he, you know, cleaning it, and soaking it, and cleaning it, and bandaging it up, and then he puts a diaper on it. Oh, it's so awesome, so amazing. I was like, what a great prepping tool. I'm going to go get a couple packages of diapers and use them in my first aid kit. Right? What great is that? Uh, you know, wrap it up, wrap it. And it already comes with, with adhesive, um, you know, to secure it on there. That and uh, what else? The, the pads, the women women hygiene pads, too. They're sterile. They absorb blood. That has adhesiveness to you. You know, great, great prepping tools. Uh, first aid stuff. So check him out, um, Team Ropin Alderit, Alderit, really great. If you guys like horses, go check him out. 
earthquake, uh, earthquake solar activity update. Uh, Mike Skies 5D cloud play first scene act one. That 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 made me think about. I'm always seeing figures in clouds, and to me they look like either cartoon characters or actual animals. But sometimes it looks like they're battling or about to battle in slow motion. It's fascinating if you think about it. Um, and part of the Bible says, men's hearts shall fail them for seeing things in the heavens, in the skies. I wouldn't doubt it if these things all of a sudden became like animated and started fighting up in the, in the sky, like these clouds that maybe things we just don't understand. Sounds crazy, I know, but crazier things have happened. <clears throat> Nothing fancy. Where you been? Nothing fancy. Uh, bolt gun versus S A R P uh, S P R. I'm sorry, Sapar, which is best? Nothing fancy and tactical doodle. Ah, thirty four minutes. Go check them out. Good stuff there. Christ forgiveness. What the Bible says about Jesus being the Messiah. Morris back again. People are filled with fear and chasing money. William. Found a friend. Found a friend. Cobalt is hip replacement parts found to cause Alzheimer's via heavy metal poisoning. Hmm. Not. I think Heidi Begley just had a hip replacement. Breaking down. Taiwan is the dark. Taiwan in the dark. Oh, power outage of six million hopeless climate chaos. Oh, so that wasn't even in this. Um, Report. Uh, let's see, code searcher. Uh, will you be talking about this interview tomorrow? It's our Sergeant Andy Hoffman. Uh, Sedona, Oak Creek Canyon. What's going on there? August twenty seventh, the uh, RD forty seven block. Uh, Nicholas Pog M is YouTube deleting subscribers. Yes, they are. The official Hagman report. <laughs> Excuse me. Utopian Road to Hell. Stephen Menking, William Murray, and Pastor Langford. Uh, monograph. Proof. Planet X 9 does exist. Uh, Page Springs, Arizona. Why did I watch that? I don't know. Um. RD47 blog, uh, Gavin, Seam, live subscriber Q&A, that should be interesting. Christian Trucher, Truther, why doesn't miss this bombshell? Wire, don't miss this bombshell. All the pieces are coming together. They are finished. Uh, GOP, Go, oh, GoPro 578, codesearcher.com. Bravo, Alternative Media, Day 209, Slumlord Jared Kushner wants deadbeat renters in debtor's prison. Get a new business. Pine Fire, uh, One Step Survival, looks like some Kindle, Fire stuff. Tara McCarthy, free speech will die unless we act it now. Tara McCarthy. WSO, while you are watching the news, Team Jesus preachers, people of God are everywhere. Amen. Yes, they are. Subtle infinity is flat earth separate from these discussions. Are people hiding behind movements? Uh, end times... In time signs, news and conspiracy. Earth one will change by Earth two. Nibiru, but when? Uh, Micho Kaiko says something and natural disasters. Tara McCarthy, should the right alt find itself a leader? Q and A question with Tara. B. Pierre, why just say climate chaos? Oh, he's doing the uh, solar eclipse thing. Sensible Prepper, Exotact, Nanospark, Firestarter, Paragon Records, Skin and Bone, Hold Up VIP, I don't know what that is about, maybe a song or something. All right, Whitetail Bushcraft, SoCo C30R 4K Ultra, 
HD action camera under $100. All right, your brainwashed TV, staring at the world through my rearview documentary by Aaron Russo, 2017. Dark Five Sky, I mean, I'm sorry, Dark Five. What actually happens in a nuclear winter? Um, I, watched, I, I don't think I found that very in, informative. Uh, Vinnie St. Vincent, our sun and free energy. Finally, you're getting uh, somewhere out of, you're getting out of your garage, Vinnie, good. Studying the solar eclipse, Sci show talk, uh, crash course, Nathan Crane. Protesters, <coughs> excuse me, get some to drink here. Pro protest at racism rally in Santa Fe. Nathan Crane, musing of life, episode seventeen. So far, ministries, prophecy update. Kushner heads back to push Israel peace deal. Who is this guy, Kushner? The White House uh, briefing by Secretary. Skulkin on HR 3218. Um, you guys can get updates if you if you don't know this already on these um, these uh, proposed laws. Um, you just got to follow this name or just Google this, and it'll bring you to the the White House or whatever it is the the legislation I think it is, and whether it passes the House or that shows you the progress that it's making. But you could get updates on that the progress because sometimes these takes things take years. Um, but I have recently submitted a, um, a request for emails, updates on those executive orders that Trump um, has now passed. I think the House or legislation, I forget which one, for um, sex trafficking uh, for children and adults being slaves, sex slaves, trafficking, child molesting, etc. Um, which will open up a lot of funding for the prevention of this stuff. And I'm definitely going after some of those grants for my foundation to protect children from sex offenders. So pray for that. Paul Begley, breaking. There will be an economic crash or boom because of North Korea, question mark, code searcher, drone flight captures, mule deer. Steve Maxwell, grass-fed beef, how to use salt to make better pastures. Miles Johnson, while Shimkit becomes alive, Nancy, uh, that is, uh, the B-Man, Beekeeper, Beauty Tips by <laughs> 628 Dirt Rooster, Get Fuller Lips, and Rosy Cheeks with Bee Stings, yeah. Uh, Zeltic Fat Earth, Flat Earth, NASA, ESA, Hoax, ISS, International Fake Station. That's great. Uh, let's see. Mm, Brian Foster. Uh, Brian Foster. Inca Celebration of the Sun 2017. He's got a tour coming up, I guess. Love that guy. Trump Breaking News Network. China threatens with trade war retaliation if U.S. damages trade ties. Raw. Big, big, big fear mongering. Big saber rattling. Saber rattling. Flat Earth, beyond the curve. Okay, then the Earth is not a globe. Now what? Daryl Matt, Pastor Bat. Uh, U.S. condemns Islamic State genocide of Christians. Why are we removing Civil War statutes? Hmm. Uh, sporty Pilot Shop, Six Rules for Cross-Country Flight. That should be good. Um, <clears throat> flight Training Tips. Got to get you flight. Guys, it's another great way to bug out. Get Go get your pilot license. It's easy. Really easy. I don't have one. I went to a couple of classes. Got a little bit of anxiety going at these little, tiny, claustrophobic cockpits. So you guys can handle that. Um, definitely get some lessons. I should take a couple more just to learn in an emergency got a little airport by you, you can commandeer a plane and there's no rules or laws left over, um, and you can bug out, get yourself whew, across some water, across some land quickly, hopefully not get shot down, and a uh, whole more crash and safe takeoff and landing could happen. Boats, you know, motorcycles, moped, motor, you know, bicycles, terrain traveling, air travel, boat travel, um, 
hot air balloons any way and any means possible. Heck, if you could afford a submarine, um, things that will get you to safety or isolated away from the chaos is by all means on the table. All right, let's see. Let's get some uh, good stuff here. What else? Um, Paul Begley was on the Hagman Show. Check that out. Breaking. Paul Begley. Secret emergency drill nuclear plant. Oh, yeah. Tennessee. This They were doing a drill on a plant meltdown. And uh, yesterday, I'm just going to freeze this. You guys go and check it out. I mean, I'm going to pause it. You guys go down and come back if you want to. It's all the same people, the same subscribers, just different um, videos. I didn't do it because I didn't do a ministry yesterday. And that might, uh, for the next few weeks, uh, be the same scenario, Wednesdays. But you guys get it anyway. Thank you for being loyal. I don't know what that is. Watch out. Okay. All right, let's close with a prayer. This is over. Thank you for hanging in there and joining. Let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this ministry of preparedness. Please bless all these viewers, Lord, and help us to prepare um, and recognize your signs, Lord, of your coming, uh, second coming of your son, Jesus. So we ask that you please bless every viewer in their ways and their needs, and please help us to recognize, um, uh, Lord, uh, when we need to get into the woods, when your plan is unfolding, Lord. Please speak to us, Lord. Please baptize us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to see your plan, Lord, unfolding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Folks, if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so. Call upon the name of the Lord right now, and you could be saved. Uh, you could be baptized and born again and get into the heavenly kingdom if you simply say a prayer like this. Dear Heavenly Father, I repent and confess of my sins. Um, please write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Wash me in the Lamb's blood. Uh, I accept your son Jesus as my Savior. I believe he is the true living Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. I believe he rose from the dead. I believe he ascended to heaven. And I believe that he's coming back again. I ask you, Lord, that you have mercy on my soul now at the hour of my death. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And then welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the kingdom. All you have to do now is just go get baptized, fully submerged in water, uh, at a church near you. If they won't do it, go to another church. If they won't do it, go to another church. A church will do it um, for free. Make a donation if you want. And then welcome to the kingdom of God. Go get yourself a Bible. If you want a waterproof Bible that floats, we sell them for $99 on our website, onedropshower.org. That's spelled out, O-N-E, onedropshower.org. There's other links in there. There's the donation buttons if you'd like to make a donation. And also, uh, if you want emergency supplies, go to our website, ambertracks.com. That's amber like the color, tracks like railroadtracks.com. One word, ambertracks.com. And for bunkers, uh, I could consult you on building bunkers, put, to get, put you together with some companies, and also um, stockpiling that as well. And the aftermath as well, when you come out, what do you do? How do you reemerge into society or get away from society? Uh, and lessons, survival lessons too as well. Help you pick out real estate, uh, where to go or not to go in the United States, East Coast here. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, that website is worthingtonbunkers.com. Worthingtonbunkers.com. All right, folks, thanks for joining. God bless you. And we'll see you again tomorrow, God willing, Friday, right before the Sabbath, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Take care. Bye-bye.